you mean we got to go in there? Listen, pal. I told you this would be no picnic. Let's get moving. supply. We just got enough to return to the surface. I promise we got we gotta get it open. Yeah, that's gonna take some doing. We'll have to wait for the shell to open on its own. And our air won't last out. But if this baby has got a pile in it like the legend says, it will be worth like, maybe maybe a million dollars. More like ten million. But we can't wait around to find out. If only we had more up-to-date breeding equipment. Yeah, 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 I know. But right now, let's get back to the ship. Time's running out. <laughs> We just made it. Another couple of minutes down there and we'd be goners. Yeah. Now, let's get back to the boat. Say, look. Ahoy there. This is Captain Troy Tempest, World Aquanaut Security Patrol. Identify yourselves. Uh, I'm Mike Bromley and uh, this is Chick Kingsland. What's this all about? These waters are off limits to unauthorized traffic. Climb aboard your boat. We'll have to take you in for questioning. Waff limits? What does he mean? Now, this is an oyster farming area. It's protected by the wasps. Guess we'd better do as he says, huh? Where you're taking us, Captain? Back to our base at Marineville. And you'd better have a satisfactory explanation. <laughs> okay, start talking. I'm a busy man, so make it brief. Well, uh... It's like this, sir. Uh, me and Kingsland were investigating an old legend. I said and... make it brief. Yeah, oh, okay. Well, this legend says that in a deep cavern... Brief, we... man, brief. Right, sir. In this cave is a giant oyster, which the legend says contains a pearl worth maybe $10 million. Well, we haven't got the right equipment to get the pearl... And... Troy, get these guys out of here. You know, we don't sponsor treasure-hunting romantics. But, sir, just think what a pearl that size could mean to the wasp. Father, you know we use crushed pearls for insulating our radioactive isotopes. This could help us. You mean this giant oyster could be the same species? Isn't it worth finding out, Commander? Well, if you put it like that, I guess it is. Okay, I'm putting you in charge, Captain. Bring that pearl back to Marineville.
guess we can relax for a while. Say, you don't look too happy, Marina. What's wrong, Marina? You don't usually act like this in a mission. Don't you want us to go? Has it got something to do with the pearl? Why should she be upset about the pearl? Well, maybe it's some sort of superstition in the sea. You know, uh, about the pearl being a bad omen or something. Is that what you believe, Marina? Oh, Marina, we can't let superstitions worry us. We've got a job to do. You know that. Okay, Bromley, let's go. You lead the way. Good luck, Troy, Bromley, and take it easy. Yeah, good luck. Oh, Marina, we have our superstitions too. We have to learn to live with them, that's all. Now stop worrying. Trusting sort of guy, Tempest. <laughs> Guess you're not scared, huh? What do you mean? Why should I be? Well, I've been down here before. If I wanted to, I could get you lost and leave you. You'd never find your way out in a million years. Yeah, that's right. Guess I am in your hands. But I don't scare easily, Bromley. No, I guess you don't. Let's get going. Hey, take it easy along this stretch, Tempest. This uh, part of the roof has a nasty habit of falling down. Hey, it happened last time. Great. That's all we need. Forget it. Now, let's see how bad that rock fall is. But it'll take too long. Our air won't last out. We'll have to turn back. Who's scared now, Bromley? Come on, let's get working. <laughs> 